good morning uh, welcome to embed systems laboratory labs uh, code is 18 ecl 66 so today let us discuss part a experiment the experiment title is assembly level language program to multiply two 16 bit numbers myself boreyoda hp assistant professor department of electronics and communication engineering g plus idw mysore the objective of the experiment is to multiply two 16-bit binary numbers. There are two objectives in this experiment. First objective is to write an ALP in R LPC 1768. The second objective is multiply two 16-bit numbers. Algorithm, initially we have to load two numbers which are to be multiplied into R1 and R2. Secondly, so we have to uh, multiply the numbers which are stored in R1 and R2. And finally, we have to store the result in R3. So this is an uh, assembly level language program for so multiplication of two 16-bit binary numbers. Area, nothing but this allocates the area in the memory. File name is uh, user defined. So it can be anything except the keywords in ARM and the code, nothing but. So since we are writing the code for two bit, uh, sorry, two 16 bit uh, numbers, okay, we have to give a code. Suppose if you are entering the data, we can give data here. Enter nothing but from this point of time, it will uh, enter into the execution mode. Export. So this is double underscore. Export double underscore main, nothing but it will transfer the program double underscore main nothing but from here onwards the main program will start the first instruction is ldr r1 comma is equal to 0x ff ff nothing but we have to load ff ff 16 number 16 bit number to r1 register 16 bit number to r1 register the 0x represents it's an hexadecimal number second instruction is ldr r2 comma is equal to 0x FF, FF, nothing but the second number we are loading into R2. The third instruction is MUL, R3, comma R1, comma R2, nothing but the numbers which are stored in R1 and R2 will uh, multiply and the result will be stored in R3. The next instruction is NOP, no operation, nothing but no operation to be performed. Next is stop execution and end of it. So this is the ALP. And this is the results uh, screenshots. See this. So for R1, number one uh, so is stored or loaded into R1. And see the R2, the second number is loaded. R3 is so the multiplication result of the number which is stored in R1 and R2 is in R3. We can verify these results manually by using the calculator. Take the calculator, keep your calculator in hexadecimal mode. So enter the first number to be multiplied into enter the second number. So press equals. So that result should matches with this. That result with matches with. So now it will pop up like this. So now go to project, close project. So in order to clear the previous uh, project of data. So now go to project, click on new microvision. Now create your own folder at any location. Myself, I'll create the folder on desktop with name GSS. Okay. Now I'll uh, locate the file into GSS folder in desktop. File name is user defined. Myself, I'll take uh, so AB. Okay, it should be in lowercase. Save it. Okay, the target device is one seven. 6 8 select this and click on ok now uh, for software programs we have to click on yes okay now it has been created see this so this is this is, has been appeared because since i clicked yes so now uh, go to file new and you'll get so program editing window type the program here and this is the program the what we discussed in the slides okay so click tab here okay and save as save as okay 
so file name is user defined again so i'll give it as kl dot s with file extension yes i am saving because it's an assembly level language program if it is in c so we could have saved with kl dot c since it's an alp assembly level language program i'll save with file extension dot s okay save it so once the save is done so select this source group right click so select the third option add existing files to the uh, group source group select this okay add uh, the assembly language uh, uh, file okay so no files are uh, appearing here so file type uh, should be asm source file okay so my asm uh, source type file is kl.s add now it has been appeared here so below the source group so observe here so now translate it so go to project translate okay so it is compiled with zero errors and zero warnings so no problem now go to project so click on build target so now see this there are two errors nothing but we have to so comment for few lines in this startup file so double click on this so scroll down scroll down scroll down okay here so ldr r not comma system inct so we have to make this as comment nothing but we have to enter semicolon now it has become comment okay and then this one also okay import this line also and then this blx also uh, three lines are commented now scroll down till the end so now here we have to make import and export our lines as comment so enter semicolon here enter a semicolon save it okay so now go to project and build target again so now zero errors and the zero warnings nothing but now we can so start the simulation so go to debug start the debug session click on that click on okay okay it will pop up like this okay this is an execution uh, sub window so this is the icon which is used for step by step execution and this is the uh, icon which is used for execution in one go i'll go step by step i'll click on this okay and i'll click again see this it's right now it's in ldr r1 line okay so i'll click this so after the execution of this line see this r1 is loaded with ff ff that is what we are given in the program so the second step is so we have so the r2 must be loaded with ff ff value and click again so see this so now the result has been stored in r3 if you want to verify this result with so the calculator result you can verify it if both are matches so we can say that we got the output so perfectly we got the output perfectly this is the way of the verify result and discussion multiplication of two 16 bit binary numbers and the result is stored in r3 conclusion multiplication of two 16 bit binary numbers was done and verified the result with manual uh, or result thank you